Hi YouTube, Tim Unkert from UnkertEducation.com here. In this video, we're going to emulate a do while loop in Python. But first, if you like programming tutorials and tutorials where I show you how to install and set up software, make sure to subscribe. Okay, with that out of the way, let's get started. So first off, what is a do while loop? Well, in many coding lab, you have this keyword do, and then you have some code to be executed. And then you have while some condition, okay? And the thing about do while loops that's different from while and for loops is even if the condition isn't met, the loop will be run at least once. Okay, so in Python, we don't have a specific do while loop, but I'm going to show you how to emulate one in Python. So let's get rid of this code here. So we're going to create a counter, and I'm going to make this counter not meet the condition. So let's say we have a loop where we want the counter to run, or the loop to run if the counter is less than or equal to 10. Well, in this case, the counter is 11, so it shouldn't run. But if we're emulating a do while loop, we'll have it run once and then break out of the loop. Okay? And let's just print out the value of the counter. So I can emulate this in Python. I can say while true. So this is going to run unless I break out of the loop. Okay, uh, but what I'll say is if counter is greater than 10, will break. Okay, so this right now, it would just go down and break out of the loop. So we want to have some code before this if statement. So let's say we wanted to print the counter. Okay, and then after the break statement here, if we're running a regular while loop, we do want to in increment the counter. So we could say counter plus equals 1. And if I run this, it's going to print just 11 and then break out of the loop. So let's run it. So we just get 11 and it breaks out. Now, if I wanted to print uh, 0 through 10, I could start with a counter equal to 0 and then run the loop. And I get 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, uh, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, and actually 11 because it doesn't break out until it's greater than 10. Uh, so I'd actually probably want to say greater than 9 here. And if I run it now, now I get 0 through 10. Um, but yeah, this, this way the loop will run at least once, no matter what the condition is. I could put something like 5,000, and if I run it, it will still run once and then break out. Hopefully this video was helpful to you. If it was, please give it a like. Thank you.